All right, my friends, let me show you how you can create this dashboard KPI. We're going to start off by inserting the background for the KPI. Simply go to insert shapes, rectangle and insert a rectangle somewhere around here on your worksheet. And after that, go to shape, format, shape, fill it with white and let's say no outline or a border. Then we're going to add a shadow here somewhere called outer bottom right like this. And then after that, resize and reposition your shape. Next, we'll give our dashboard a title. Go to insert text box and drop somewhere around here. And then enter the title 2024 sales. We'll increase the font size to 24 and make it bold. And then press Control 1 to open format shape. And we say no fill and no border. After that, resize and reposition this title. Now to insert the total sales number onto our dashboard, simply copy your title that you just created and then delete whatever is in there and then go to your formula bar say equal and select d19 here like this now let's change the font type to impact and font size to about 20 and then press ctrl 1 to open up the format shape and do a fill on that text box as maybe light green and then go ahead and add a shadow with similar kind of shadow as outer bottom right like before and then resize and reposition your total sales text box so that it looks like a wraparound ribbon. Now to add sparkline bar chart into our dashboard, simply select cell D21 like this and then go insert sparkline columns. And when this pop-up comes up, select the sales column for 2024 like this and press enter on your keyboard. Now we're going to highlight the high point by going to sparkline on your ribbon and high point checkbox like this. Now, while selecting your cell D21, press Ctrl C to copy it in the clipboard and then right click anywhere on your worksheet and go special paste and then you're going to select this linked picture from your context menu. And then now resize and reposition your linked picture. For the 2025 KPI dashboard, you can simply copy the same dashboard from 2024. But keep in mind that you need to change the title to 2025 sales and the address for the total sales has to be G19. And of course, you have to redraw your sparkline bar chart to reflect the 2025 sales data. And job complete.